What is up everyone? Welcome to DIY or Die. Today, we're gonna be mixing up a mountain rose apple. So what is a mountain rose apple? How is it different from a regular apple? I'm going to explain it to you, it's very simple. There was a restaurant near me that's quite popular in Philadelphia, it's called Mission, it's a Mexican restaurant, and they brought in these sort of local farmers to come use their homegrown ingredients in their tacos, and it was really cool. And they brought these apples that they'd grown themselves that were really delicious, but they were more beautiful and aesthetically than they were flavorfully. That's not to say they weren't good apples, they just weren't anything too special. But when you looked at them, you were just like, wow, these are really, really cool. So essentially it's a yellow green apple on the outside, but when you cut it, it has this really deep pink flesh to it that just adds the, uh, a level of excitement. When you look at it, you're like, wow, these are, you know, there's something else to it. The flavor to me was somewhat between a green apple, a yellow apple with a little bit of a red apple in there. So the flavor was a little bit different than sort of, you know, your Macintosh apples or your uh, green apple. And I kind of wanted to capture that in a recipe. So I uh, spent a couple days looking at my ingredients and trying to draft a recipe that I think would uh, kind of emulate this, this flavor that I had. And this is the recipe. So it's very, very simple, and I'll explain why I chose the flavorings I did. The first ingredient was Flavor Arts Fuji. Now this is not the main apple note. This is just going to give it a certain level of brightness that comes with that mountain rose apple. When you bite into it, it kind of, it, it's very bright, almost like how you get from a green apple, but the sweetness that follows through is more like a yellow apple or a red apple. So I just wanna use Fuji. We're gonna be using it at 1% here. That's all you need, 1%. Fuji goes a really long way. The next ingredient is basically the body and the foundation of the apple. This is that finish that I pick up from the Mountain Rose Apple. This is really the ingredient that kind of, especially when it's compared with Fuji, just emulates it really, really well. Not perfectly, but good enough to sort of portray that flavor. The rest of the ingredients in this recipe just pick up where I think it needs to be picked up. So I'm gonna be using Country Apple by Perillium at 5%. This is one of, if not the best apple out on the market. If you saw my best flavors, it's on the list. But at 5%, we need a lot of that yellow, lingering, sticky apple flavor to finish uh, the what's Fuji sort of lacking because Fuji just has such a nice top note, but its finish is not quite there This is gonna give us that finish Fuji is just so bright that Anything really under 5% I found was just just too light the Fuji was just a little too bullying Finally, we're going to be adding a level of sweetness to the apple that is contingent upon a red apple sweetness, but also to not really color the yellow apple in any way or, or add any other distracting flavors. This does that in a really nice way. Um, I've tried a bunch of other different apple flavorings, like two apples, I've tried tons of red apple flavorings, and they all just don't pack enough flavor to sort of become present in the mix, especially against the country apple and the Fuji. Uh, sweet guava, it just gives us that nice level of sweetness, almost a little bit of juiciness, and um, it doesn't really take away from any of the other ingredients. We're only gonna be using it here at 2%. So it's not much, just want its sweetness. And finally, the most sort of recognizable aspect of the Mountain Rose Apple is its tartness. It's just nice and tart. It's not sour like a green apple. It just has a nice sort of sharpness to it. And I'm going to be using Flavor West Star Candy to do that. I find uh, using Capella's Lemon Lime or other citruses, it adds a little bit too much of a lemon lime flavor. We need something that's thinner, that does have that sharpness, but is just thinner. That way that yellow country apple sort of just rides in the body. We have the Fuji on top, follow through with that guava sweetness on the very finish, and then that sharpness that comes in from the star candy. And I'm going to finish it with some super sweet. You do not need to add super sweet if you don't like, but I do like it, so go fuck yourself. And that is the recipe. Let's uh, put our base in. There you have it, the Mountain Rose Apple. Does it taste exactly like a Mountain Rose Apple? No. 
Um, it tastes more of like a concentrated version of it. It just becomes this really nice fresh apple flavor with a guava sweetness to it. Not quite a guava note, but a nice little guava sweetness. And then that, uh, that kind of sharp flavor that just just gives it that extra tartness and it's excellent recipe. I highly recommend you check it out. It really does have a fall, uh, summer fall type feel to it. You know, like right after summer, right beginning of fall sort of vibe. Maybe pair this up with some cinnamon and see what you can do with it in some bakeries. See what you can do pairing it up with other fruits. Um, you know, you can definitely use it as somewhat of a layer in your recipes as opposed to just going the run of the mill, just the Fuji or just the country apple or just the two apples. Uh, you know, this, this apple layer is quite interesting and I think a lot of you will enjoy it. So that's it for my video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and also subscribe if you want to see more DIY e-liquid recipes, tips, tricks, tutorials, and more. Also, don't forget to head over to the website DIYDieVaping.com. That way you can get the full write-up of this video. And don't forget to follow me over at Instagram at DIYDieVaping. I'll catch y'all later. Keep mixing. Much love. Peace.